Was your house? Yeah, it was my house. Sorry I didn't tidy up. You should have called ahead. I, I'm so... I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, not that... You planned to hit your house with the plane. It's just that the plane lost control. If it's any consolation, I, I bet it was the house that cushioned the crash. It's probably the main reason why I'm alive. Oh, this must be my lucky day. Too bad I can't say the same for old Jim. Jim? You mean there was somebody in the house? Oh, I'm so sorry. Where is he? I was saving this bottle for a special occasion. May he rest in peace. You know, you didn't have to really make me feel that I was responsible for somebody's death. Well, if it helps at all, my dog ran away when you crashed into my house. Your dog? Well, please, let, let me help you find him, then. What, what is his name? Dog. and he'll never come back. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Please let me help you. How's the pilot? How is the pilot? Is he, is he all right? I borrowed an ATV, took him to a hospital. He'll be fine. Good. Then they'll be coming for me. Nope. What do you mean? I don't want a million people poking around up here. Well, what about me? What about you? You're alive. Yes, but that doesn't mean that I'm all right to be stuck here. I, I have important business to take care of. I, I have people I need to talk to to tell them that I'm not hurt. Those people will be looking for me. Look, maybe you didn't recognize me with all, with all of this, but America came. I said, I'm Erica Kane. I heard you the first time. I just can't figure out why the hell that's supposed to matter to me. The hospital now. He told me he was headed straight over. You must recognize me. You must have seen me on TV or on a book cover. Don't have TV. Well, I can tell already you don't read books. Excuse me. All right. So you live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere. And so real people in the real world, they have no effect on you. But I am telling you, down at the bottom of your hill, I am very, very well known. And I have important things to do, and I must get down there. Do you understand me? It is a priority for me to get down back to reality. So can you help me get there? Do you have a phone I can use? Nope. Don't you think you are carrying this hermit thing just a little too far? I can't have a phone. I have a medical condition. Hearing somebody talk on and on and on causes a ringing in my ear. It's very painful. It's a very rare condition. And it has even caused a man to throw somebody off the edge of a mountain. We're different. Any news at all on the flight? Well, how about with ground control? When was the last time Raider had sights on it? Well, hold on for one minute. I've got a call coming in. Hello? Hey, I'm just checking in. Did you take care of that problem at the hospital? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it right now. It's a lot more serious than I thought. It looks like I'm going to be here for a while. I'll let you go then. Keep me posted. Absolutely. All right. Can you at least tell me if the plane is in the air or not? How the hell could you not know that? I'm going to have to get back to you again. Funny. The 
This place doesn't look like the hospital. I can explain. I knew something was up. Are you going to talk? I could just hit read dial on your phone and get the details from whoever it is you were just ordering around. All right. Here it is. You needed Erica out of the picture while the scandal hit the fan over at Fusion, right? So I had a mechanic disable her plane in West Virginia. The plane wasn't supposed to take off. Wasn't supposed to? Erica took off in a damaged plane? much well i'm only trying to fill the void here because getting a syllable out of you is like pulling teeth well as you can imagine what the sound of your voice does to me what, what are you doing what's going on what, are, are we going somewhere we we're going down the mountain aren't we if you want to go down the mountain you go that way i'm going that way i, I don't understand I've got another cabin i'm gonna bunk there It's not as cozy as this place used to be, but it does have an inside and an outside. But I, I could never get down the mountain by myself. Are you kidding? It's night. It's dark. I would get lost. You know, that's the least of your problems. you got to watch out for mudslides. Hope you've got a good tread on those things. Well, you give me no choice, okay? I'm going to have to go to the cabin with you. I'm going to have to spend the night. But there's only one problem with that. What? You ain't invited. Look, I am sorry. I mean it. I swear. I am truly sorry for destroying your home. And, and I'll replace it. And, and uh, your bottle of booze and everything you own that was in it. I swear. I double the value. I don't care. Money is no object. I told you. I'm Erica Kane. Yeah, you keep saying that. Well, you refuse to get it. You saved my life. You can sell your story for thousands of dollars. You'll be famous overnight. Well, famous enough to crash a plane into somebody's home? I didn't mean it like that. Everyone wants to be famous. You're not going to be able to keep the money people away from your door once they know that you're the man responsible yeah. for saving my life. Making my argument for me, Dorothy. I have told you time and again my name is erica if somebody falls out of the sky lands on me i call her what the hell i want maybe i should call you toto yeah that's more fitting little yapper dog look we both know that you are not going to walk away and leave me here alone you already proved it you already went into that plane not once but twice first to save the pilot and then to cut me loose so I know that deep inside, deep inside, that, that very scratchy exterior is a caring soul. <laughs> yeah, you're not at all the, the antisocial creep you like to pretend you are. No way you were going to let me just rot in there. Well, you're right about that. Did you ever smell a dead body? I would have shot my property values all to hell. Okay, listen to me. I have done everything. I have been generous. I have been apologetic. I have been understanding. I'm not real! You ever tried that? Okay, mister. You want real? From now on, the gloves are off. You are about to meet the real Erica Kane. <laughs>